Hi everyone, Roy Neary from Data Spinners and TDG, uh, previously known as Those Dynamics Guys. Today I am going to try and do the Power Platform 15 minute challenge. I just made this challenge up, but basically it is a, a sort of personal challenge to see if I can actually create a uh, a power platform solution in 15 minutes is what it says on the tin now the the idea is it's an overtime form and so if I can sort of describe the uh, the, the scenario that you've got here let me just see if I can get this pen going oh, good yeah so we have a person and they have overtime uh, they want to fill in their overtime and it needs to be authorized by someone else um, who also has arms and uh, they're going to fill in their thing using power apps this person here is going to do their authorization using flow uh, the whole thing is going to sit on a SharePoint um, list uh, because I know that everybody's got that and we will then surface the whole lot in Power BI um, so there's a little graph there Good. Um, so that is the principle of what's going to go on. I'm going to show you how I've got myself set up. So uh, firstly, I have got a list with some bits and pieces in, because if I don't have a list with bits in, then the Power BI is going to look like complete nonsense. Um, also, I'm going to use this to fire up to SharePoint to get my list going. Uh, secondly, I've already opened myself up. In fact, I'm going to close this because this is my uh, this is not my first effort of this. Um, so I'm going to do new. Um, so um, this was my first effort at doing the um, the solution, and it took me 25 minutes. And and there were just a few mistakes in there. So anyway, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I am set up here. This is my guest user. So this is the person that's going to have to do the authorizing. So I'm nearly there. I'm, and I'm also set up here. There's a few bits and pieces I need to get rid of. Uh, I don't need that either. Uh, that will do me, I think. Um, and I'm set up so that I can just about start a flow. That's my old flow. It doesn't work anymore. Um, and... That's just about it. So I just want to make sure I'm going to kill this one here. Good. Goodbye. Uh, say, save, whatever. Um, so I'm nearly ready to get going on this. I need to make sure that I've got my 15 minute, minute timer. 15 minute timer. Okay, good. Look at that. Okay, well, any second now. Look at that. Thank you. All right. So. When I click the button, that's when the timer obviously uh, starts. And the aim of the game is to get a working Power App flow and Power BI report where the Power BI report has the capacity to refresh. Now, nothing will be perfect, as in they won't, you know, they will, there's no refinement whatsoever on this. The flow will work, but it's not amazing. The power up will work, but it's not amazing. And the Power BI report is very basic, but 15 minutes. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, let's go. Right, back over to my list. Uh, I am gonna do export and export data. Note that I had a, a title column here because that is handy when you want to use um, use SharePoint. I'm going to have to stop talking because I'm just going to talk complete rubbish any second now. Um, and I'm going to call it PP over time. Okay, good. And I go next. And I'm going to go, look at that, it's good, good date. Okay, whatever. And I go finish on that. Now this thing is going to very very quickly produce a list for me. I'm going to jump straight onto that list and I'm going to add another column and it's going to be a person column. I'm going to take off this quick edit because it annoys me big style. Um, you do not want to add new fields when you're in that mode uh, because the uh, uh, they don't work very well. Um, Okay, so this is going to be authorizer, uh, and I don't really need anything else. And I will uh, let's see if that allow multiple selections. No, good. Um, save on that. So that's done me that, and now I am going to create my app. 
So I'm going to call it PP Overtime. I'm going to call it Overtime 2 because there was actually one um, one called Overtime before and I'm not sure if I deleted it. So PP Overtime 2. Off that pops. That means I can get going on this which means I can do get data and I'm going to go SharePoint list any second now. Um, so I'm going to jump back onto this so that I can go to my SharePoint list so I can grab that, grab that, over to there, back onto Power BI, uh, type in share and then it'll go onto their SharePoint online list, go connect. Uh, this is going to give me an option to um, as to the site to connect to, hit the enter button. Um, then it will give you a list of all of the lists in that site eventually. Um, let's just have a little, uh, oh yeah, that's good. Okay, nearly there on that. I'm going to do literally zero refinement. So I'm going to type in PP. Let's hope it's there. PP overtime. Good. Right. Um, and I'm going to go, come on. I'm literally just going to go load. You're going in there. Great. Okay, good. Um, right, so that's going to have a little think. Um, I'll, I'll, no, I will. Let's just see how long that takes. Do you know what? I'm losing time. I'm going to go back onto this. I am going to, let me just think. Uh, I am going to do a new, uh, I'm going to go create from template because I'm going to proper cheat on this. Uh, I'm going to go approval. Uh, hit enter. Well, start approval when a new item is added. Click that. Go into there. It's going to ask me for a list eventually, uh, but not right at this stage. And I am going to grab. I've got my list name. That's fine. Go down to there. Um, I've got a list. Da da da. Uh, it's products. What's my list name? And I'm going to go down to better. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, PP over time assigned to. Um, and I'm going to call my authorizer email uh, response blah blah blah. I'm going to hit the uh, change the parameter values here because this is not very right, um, for. Uh, I'm going to type in hours here hours uh, and I do see more then go hours uh, on and I'm going to try and see if I can find a date but it's not that great it'll come through quite weird but that's uh, that's life there's ways around it I'm not doing it um, and then down here this is not good enough for me it'll be okay but I'm not going to do that I am going to add this in here I'm going to do uh, update item and that's going to give me my SharePoint thing here update item uh, then go down to my list over to products and um, go on to my list name and da -da -da -da, PP over time in you go ID grab this one here and um, which one do I need I need status needs to be approved uh, approved okay I just put approved that's fine um, and then that is me done on that. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a save on that. I think I'm. I think I'm done. Uh, I could actually do the reject thing, but I'm not going to on this occasion. So this is just to show that it actually works. Go. Uh, so whilst that's doing its thing, I'm going to go back on here, and I'm going to bring in the world's simplest graphic. Now I'm just going to just going to check that this is an actually a field type that I need. Now, is it a date field? I cannot tell right from the top. No, it isn't. That means I'm going to have to go into here. Uh, I'm going to have to edit query. I'm going to change the field type on the date. I'm just going to make sure the field types are all good to go. Uh, whiz across here. Come on. Um, hours, not even a number, which means I can't add it up, uh, which means I need to go data type. Da, da, da. Uh, I'll go decimal number because I might have a decimal number. Um, and authorize, not bothered about that. Uh, but what I am bothered about is that the date is not a date. So I'm going to do that and um, go for date. Uh, I haven't done date time. I'm not that fussed about date time. I could have done it. And I will do close and apply on that, which takes me back to the report. I'm logged in as me up the top here. So that shouldn't be too bad. Quick little time check uh, whilst we're here. Oh. Nine minutes, great. Okay, good. And uh, back onto Power BI, uh, home, uh, onto the reports, uh, grab this. I'm just going to do a simple bar chart. It's the only thing I understand in the world. Um, and I am going to put the date on the axis. Um, I'm going to get rid of quarter because it means nothing to me. And I am going to bring in hours on the value. Uh, and I'm also going to have the status as something in the legend there that's great um and i am just going to jump down good okay 
uh, funny enough, that is actually in a reasonable order. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Um, I am going to publish this up to the web uh, into the Power BI service. I have no idea what I did just then. That was just mental. Um, publish. Good. Off it goes. Do you want to save your changes? Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm going to call it PP over time uh, v2 okay good uh, once that's up in the service I'll need to um, do something so I can actually refresh it uh, whack it onto products 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 bu -bu 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 products okay good select that any second now it'll be published up which is great uh, and now I can probably go onto the app come on uh, okay onto the app skip that little bad boy there um, and I'm going to go on to this can I be clever enough to do um, uh, I'm going to do text and this item dot date and because I want it in UK format I want to do uh, DD um, yeah okay and see what that gives me okay I could have done something more fancy than that I'll go MMM because actually people understand that um, and uh, that's going to do this sign some dot hours um, and uh, hours uh, pop that in there um, and we need to probably put the status in there as well I'm going to do that copy that um, pop that in there and I'm going to do this item dot status right in we go brilliant approve fantastic and uh, that is me done on that I'll do file and um, save that's my PP over time done um, I'm gonna publish that okay publish this version great and I'm nearly nearly there I'm trying to think if there's much left to do not a lot left okay good and um, so I'll go back on there and um, I'm gonna uh, I'm just Okay, um, little brain freeze going on there. Um, Power app's going to fire up the real uh, the real app. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll actually work. Um, it's going to jump onto this thing. Yes, it's published it. I'm going to jump into the um, Power BI report, and then we are going to set it so it's got the capacity to refresh, which means I need to go down to the data source, um, down to the data sets. Up, up, up. Come on. Okay, good. Um, hit the schedule refresh. Up to schedule refresh. Go on to data source credentials. Edit credentials. And hit the drop down. Oh well, two sign in. Okay, good. Sign in. Blah blah blah. This can take a little tiny bit of time, so let's do a quick time check. Oh, brilliant. Okay, good. Um, so that's done it, and that means uh, that means I can now have a report which is sitting on the web. Come on, uh, power up. Uh, da, da, da. Great, that's done. All sitting on the web, and I can go into my uh, overtime form. I hope, um, and I go apps. Come on. Um, and I'm in the wrong environment because I should be in this one and go on to apps I don't know why it did that um, and then over to this and I go play and what we need to do is so now in theory we're done so that was actually in 10 minutes time come on right let's see if this actually works so I did now I'm really chuffed with that brilliant okay so let's see if the app, this actually works um, so the idea is let's calm this down now so here's my app I come in walk in me as me and want me over time so I'm gonna hit the plus uh, I better put something in here because it won't accept it I'm gonna hit the date here uh, I'm gonna say it's for the 10th of December I'm gonna need to do it as for uh, two hours uh, I'll, I didn't um, put the status but I'll put the status as new uh, and I put the authorizer and you just have to in this case you have to type in the um, your manager but you can you can do that using Active Directory anyway now if I hit the save button I will that will save now the first thing to do okay first um, we need to just jump on to approvals and you can see that I have no approvals at this stage and if I go back on here and then hit the OK button what we should find is that that's gone in so it's that December one there I, I, I haven't done any clever sorting on this um, but there's there's December I didn't know it's got a 12 there I think yeah that was the um, title field so I've asked for two hours on the 10th of December so the theory goes is that when this person um, goes in and goes to their approvals now bear in mind they would actually get emails and what have you on this then um, please review 12 that's awesome um, and so you can see here details um, for two I didn't put the word hours in there but it was actually 2018 December 10 which is uh, not the right way to do it but 
um, for this demo is uh, absolutely fine um, and at this point I can confirm it now um, what I am going to do is I'm just going to jump into um, jump onto this power BI report and at this point in our lives we should be able to refresh it now I have had this where it can take absolutely ages to refresh and I can't quite get my head around it but that's life and um, so what we'll find is I'm just gonna hit the refresh on this um, so refresh 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 now um, and it can be a bit peculiar but the bottom line is if you go into this report here and if you actually refresh it from here it's the same thing basically but we're just literally going oi give us the data awesome so you can see that we've actually got well one that is new and it's not being approved uh, and then if we go on to this and we uh, hit the confirm then that in theory should update the item so that if I'm basically going to hit the refresh and you'll see that's disappeared um, let's have a look at the history I don't normally do that look at that awesome um, so I can then go on to back onto Power BI and what we find is if all is being well this thing will move to a green oh thank you Thank goodness for that okay and it did move to a green which is great um, now this thing here if you want to see if it's actually refreshed which I'd be amazed if it has uh, if I go on to last refresh succeed oh it actually did it cool um, so I'm gonna hit the refresh on this page and uh, w this will actually bring it in I don't yeah you can see that it, it refreshed it before the um, the authorize went in uh, and so if I hit the refresh on this now um, I was doing it yes the other day and it took uh, it took about five minutes which was mighty annoying um, so off it pops and you know to be honest you can get somewhere between five and ten minutes it you know you're in a big scrum with everyone else so but what you can do on this is you can see whether or not um, you can see whether or not it's working by going on to it um, Oh my goodness, it's actually done it. Wow. There you are. That's done it. So, how about that? That was um that was uh 10 minutes power platform and obviously seven and a half minutes of me just talking. So, uh I'm really really chuffed with that. Um I can't believe that this is a um a power platform solution. Uh, not the, the sort of thing that I'd actually give to someone but the bottom line is this was done in it wasn't done in 15 minutes this was done in 10 minutes that is that is uh, really cool so it'd be so fun if uh, other people had a crack at doing this and see if you can uh, I think my time was something like uh, 9 minutes 40 something like that um so uh it would be funny if people did uh some uh of their own version of the power platform challenge so uh anyway um hope you've enjoyed this hope you've learned some things along the way and you know maybe one day you'll be doing your uh, own power platform uh challenges <laughs> maybe not um anyway uh Please subscribe, uh, please like all those things, share it to your, share it to your colleagues and so on, and uh, I will see you again sometime soon.